Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at uh, straight math statistics, the, the question on binomial distribution. I've just finished doing the papers, uh, uh, mechanics statistics, um, paper S, and I've done the paper T, and I'm writing solutions. So uh, well, I have practically written the solutions need to be scanned and uploaded into the into my site. Um, and I just decided to do a few questions from each paper. This is a, these are very hard papers, um, and I've highlighted here. Uh, some questions from paper S that I'm going to go through, uh, which are kind of like perhaps uh, short for a video. And that's question six. That's a binomial. That's a probability with Venn diagrams to show some techniques. Uh, um, uh, definitely not this one. This is quite a disgusting question over two pages. A uh, real beauty, but it's just very, very complicated um, um, and very, very long. And then on the mechanics, uh, this is... Um, Calculus kinematics, a little bit of vectors. Uh, no, no, it's quite ugly stuff. No, no, thank you. Uh, this is quite an interesting question. The equilibrium of rigid bodies um, and the moments question. Uh, probably not. I don't particularly fancy this particular question. Okay, so it's maybe about five questions. Not, of course, in one video. I'm going to be doing different videos for, for each of these questions. So let's go to the first question. I highlighted in all of this. And this is what he's actually saying. Um, it's question six. I don't know if you can actually see this uh, uh, from uh, as I'm holding the paper higher. It is given the discrete random variable X satisfies X having a binomial distribution with N trials and uh, P probability of success. If the probability of X equal to two is the same as the probability of X is equal to three, show that the expectation of X is three minus P. And he says, you may assume expectation of X is the mean of the distribution defined as N times P. Um, loads of rubbish, really, in terms of... Uh, this has really annoyed me in, in, in this new syllabus uh, because um, all this kind of um, notation, like the expectation of X, I don't really know um, if teachers are using it at school because... This has now gone into further math statistics. Yet when you're doing distributional approximations and you're taking the binomial, the binomial to normal, <coughs> you still expect it to know these two quantities. The only difference is you don't call it expectation, or maybe you do, maybe your teachers still do. You call it the mean, and this, of course, you don't write it as var of x, you call it the variance in full. Okay, so this is basically... It has really, really annoyed me. Uh, and I put the extra bit there in the question for people to be to be sure that they do understand what the question is asking. Okay, let's... Uh, <coughs> pardon my usual cough. Right there. Important bits of the, the question. First of all, we have a binomial NP. Fact number one. Fact number two. Probability x is equal to 2, same as probability x is equal to 3. <coughs> um, and the third bit is actually a fact which basically says the mean of... is actually being written explicitly in the question. And we have to show that the mean... For this particular, if this is this is true, is three minus p, and that's all there is in the question. So let's get going. It's not a long question. I've got it there as an eight mark, a generous eight mark, because it does have a quite a bit of um, algebra. So where do we start? We'll start with this equation. Now the question, the way it's written stops you from number crunching, sticking things into a calculator and just getting answers. <coughs> if this is the case, the probability x is equal to 2 is n to 2. Um, probability of success squared and then the complement of the probability, the rest of the probability will go n minus 2. So if, if you're stuck with this and you're not quite sure or you, it doesn't make much sense, please try some numbers and then it will make more sense. Okay, the same thing, n choose 3. But these are the enrichment papers, therefore they're super strong. I don't really write uh, 
easy questions and definitely my videos they don't they will very rarely have easy questions i do enjoy the, the harder side of things so um this is now the first line and we need to be thinking about what to do next okay this is what we do next we need to expand this binomial coefficients you need to know what they stand for either you learn that first in your pure or you learn that in the statistics depending which one was taught uh, first but this is now what each of them are is n n minus 1 over 2 factorial that's this bit here the rest are merely copying it and um, i'm not doing anything of substance and the same thing this is going to be n n minus 1 n minus 2 over 3 factorial and then we go p cubed 1 minus p to the n minus 3 so far so good and i'm going to do one more uh, line there the three factorial is a six the two factorial is a two so i'm going to times the six across six over two is three three n n minus one p squared one minus p to the n minus two this six has completely gone so we got n n minus one n minus two p cubed n one minus p to the n minus three okay looks quite uh, disgusting <clears throat> i like to do things properly so in a minute you quite clearly uh, most of us would have said oh divide both sides by p squared yes if it's not zero you can do that so at the moment i'm going to write a few things which perhaps there'll be two months p cannot be zero and uh, uh, also p cannot be equal to one so the one minus p is on both sides cannot be zero um if um, for example, p is, is zero, there's no binomial here, or, we, or one, there's, there's nothing. Uh, other bits that are non-zero, yeah, definitely. n cannot be zero, so from this n here, and n cannot be equal to one, and n cannot be equal to two, because of course, if these are the numbers that I just put in there, then this line doesn't make any sense, it doesn't exist. So this kind of things, we most of us, I don't know if uh, in a strict market scheme you expect to state this. I certainly have to state it, otherwise I'd, I'd be very upset. So the first thing that we're going to do, let's get rid of the n's. We're not divided by non-zero quantities. And the p squared will make that into just a p. And let's see what we got left. I could cancel more stuff, but it's probably better to um, just leave it as this. Oh, actually, we got the n minus 1 as well, sorry. I didn't see that one n minus one can go so we got the three from there and we got the one minus p to the n minus two i could have cancelled this sorry i was interrupted i interrupted myself rather that has all gone uh, no it's not all gone there's still a p in there because it goes cubed so it's gone when i divide by p squared and i got the one minus p to the n minus three <coughs> the reason i didn't cancel this bracket just yet to so make sure we all can see what is left by this bracket so if i divide by the lowest power and the lowest power is one minus p to the power of n minus three this is smaller than that if n is is a, is a positive integer what will happen is one minus p to the n minus two divided by one minus p to the n minus three dividing subtracting powers n minus n will cancel minus two minus minus three it gives us this bracket on the left to the one. So it's going to be three. I put the one for completeness. And we got the P at the front. And that, of course, has completely gone. So this is the line we got so far. And what do we go from there? This is to the one, so we can just expand it. Three minus three P gone equal to NP minus two P. Take the NP. Leave, sorry, rather leave the np on the right take that to the left and we got three minus p and therefore np is the mean which is what the question is asking and the mean which is n times p is indeed three minus p as required and uh, i didn't think this question was long but it does have some kind of lengthy manipulations and you really need to be in control of all your definitions and your algebra must be tip top and then the answer does not is not that difficult to come out uh, and this is 
are quite satisfying. I hope you, you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be signing out and uh, I'll be doing the next video from this particular paper real soon. Bye for now.